Yeah, hi students. Uh, we are doing SOP five. Now in SOP five, SOP five, okay, we have to do two things. One, we have to create a web page uh, with control using audio, and another web page also we have to create audio by using multiple files. Now multiple file formats we have to use. Now first we will okay learn okay how to put an audio in a web page. Before learning that, we will learn how to create a web page, and then we will learn how to put an audio. Now before doing this experiment, first thing what you need to do, you need to first create a folder in the desktop. I myself have already created okay by the name SOP5. In that your audio file has to be there. My three audio file is already there by the name test. This is my audio file. This audio file I will put in my folder, and then I will create a web page, and then I will run the file. Now this is my file okay has been already been stored over here. So I'll teach you step by step how it is go goes on. Now first, what the question says: Create a web page by the name audio.html to set an audio file in web page with controls such that it uses HTML5 elements. The audio file must play as soon as the web page loads in a browser, and it will start over again every time when it is completed. Now first step: You have to create a web page. Now before creating a web page, first you need to create a folder. By the name SOP or any name, and in that folder there has to be audio file. If you are not putting in that folder the audio file, so you have to specify the location where the audio file is. But it's better to where the folder is created or that you put the audio file. So now my folder is there, and in that folder audio file is there. Then I will open a notepad and I'll start typing the coding. So after typing the coding, I have to. Save it by the name audio.html. So that's what the question says. Create a web page by the name audio.html to set an audio file in web page with controls. Now in this web page, my audio file will be there. Whenever I'll open the web page, if I click on play button, my audio file should play automatically whenever it loads in a browser. And I have to use HTML5 element. So I have to use HTML5 ka web programming ka coding. That I will do it. Create a web page again by the name audio.html. Yes, I will create a web page by the name audio.html. In that, I will put an audio file. In in this case, I have audio file dot mp3. I'll show you where it is. It is there in my folder that I had shown you earlier also. This is my mp3 file format. You can see from here also, it is mp3. So my web page I will create. And then I will put an audio file element. Now my audio file element is in mp3. In web page with controls such that it uses HTML5 element, I will put my audio file and I'll put the coding of with controls and I'll use the HTML5 ka web programming. The audio file must play as soon as the web page loads in a browser. Whenever my web page okay opens, the audio file should play, and it will start over again and again when it is completed. Once the audio file is completed, once the audio is completed. Again, it should play automatically, and it should play again and again. If I wanted to stop, I can stop. If I wanted to play, I can play. So this is the question. Okay, we have to understand the question properly, and then we'll go for the co coding part, and then we'll see the output. Now here again, the question says, okay, create a web page by the name audio.html to set an audio file in web page with controls such that it uses HTML5 elements. The audio file must play as soon as the web page loads in a browser, and it will start over again and again every time when it is completed. So my web page is ready. I'll show you. This is my web page. Okay, and this is my. Audio. Hello, my name is Once Abbas Lalani. The audio in is this completed. Com it will play automatically. Out okay, as many of the loop. For Microsoft Word 2016. Now, as soon as it will complete the loop, okay, it will start playing. Hello, my name is Abbas Lalani. In this comprehensive tutorial, if I stop, okay, it will stop. If I will go some over some of the basic stuff to start with, and then in the steps, as you can, we will get started in a moment here with the first module for Microsoft Word 2016. So this is the audio, okay, what you are listening in the background. Hello, my name is Abbas Lalani. In this. Thing that will do audio with control. If I wanted to stop, I can stop. If I want to play, I can play it. We'll see the coding part. 
doc type html i'm using html5 element html tag open head tag close now every opening tag has a closing tag now this is html tag open over here and html tag close followed by the backslash sign if i put a backslash signs that in that means i'm closing the html tag any backs like any tag i wanted to close i have to put okay backslash sign your head tag open head tag controls the complete html cut tag a title tag open audio with control title tag close now you can see title tag close over here followed by backslash sign and where the title tag it is it is written audio with control over here and here is your title tag audio with controls head tag was open over here head tag close now body tag open now from here your html actual coding starts now h1 is the largest possible heading size h2 is the smallest h3 is the smallest than h2 h4 is smaller than h3 followed till h6 so from h1 to h6 all the possible heading size is there but h1 is the largest possible heading size align is equal to center audio with controls heading one close you can see over here it is written audio with control here it is in heading one largest this was the title tag here we had seen title audio with control now here we have written okay in heading audio with control in the largest possible heading size that is h1 you can see over here audio and it is in the center heading tag was open over here h1 and h1 tag here it is close now audio controls now here i have to put my audio file audio controls here that means here audio tag is open over here and audio tag close auto play loop is equal to minus one so minus one means what it will play infinite number of times now if i had put okay over here loop is equal to my is equal to two so it will play two number of times and it will stop automatically if i had put five it will play loop is equal to five five number of times and then it will stop automatically now any number if i put in minus it, whether it is minus one or minus two it will run infinite number of time it will run n number of times it will run continuously till the time i don't stop it so that's why i wanted to run infinite number of times i had put loop is equal to minus one now source src where is my it is there in my same folder by the name test.mp3 and type is audio slash mpeg now this is the main thing okay test.mp3 as i shown you earlier it is there in my same folder you can see over here mp3 file is over here test.mp3 here is my mp3 file it is there in my same folder so here is my source code test.mp3 that is there on my folder and audio tag was open over here audio tag close body tag was open over here body tag close and html tag was open over here and html tag close this was the first part of the question that we had solved that we are putting in an audio file with control now in another part okay that is create another web page by the name audio1.html so i have to create one more web page by the name audio1.html which provides multiple source file format for the same audio file that plays a sound automatically with controls now here i have to put the multiple file formats in earlier experiment i had put only .mp3 here yeah, instead of .mp3 i have to put mp3 also ogg also and wav also so three audio file formats i have to put okay in this web page so now again i am editing the question i am creating another web page by the name audio1.html now which provides multiple source file formats i know what, what is my file format that is wav mp3 or ogg for the same audio file the audio file will be the same that plays a sound automatically with control so this also will play automatically and this also will be with control if i wanted to stop i can stop if if i want to play i can play also the browser should display the message with appropriate attribute when audio file is not supported by the browser if the audio file is not supported the browser the browser will not like the output will not come and it will throw me an error now which file which source i have to put sound files format 
that is WAV, MP3 or OGG. So this file format, I have to use this sound file format, I have to put on my web page. Again, I'm reading the part, okay. Create another web page named audio1.html, which provides multiple source file format for the same audio file that plays sound automatically with controls. The browser should display the message with appropriate attribute when audio file is not supported by browser. The code must incorporate the list of sound file formats like WAV, MP3 or OGG, etc. Now we'll see the output how it looks like. This is the multiple audio file for with control. Here also I have written multiple audio files with control. And here the information and here the list of the file format that I'm putting, okay? And this will tutorial will go some over some of the basic stuff to start with and then this is my audio file. Now we'll see the source. Doc type HTML HTML tag open over here, H head tag open over here, title multiple audio file with control, title tag close. Here you will see the title. Here it is multiple audio file with control. Here in the title it is written multiple audio files with control. Here also you can see multiple audio files with control over here. Head tag close, body tag open. Now you have your actual coding start. Heading was the largest possible heading size. Align is equal to center. Align is, is left, right or center. In this case I have written in center. What I have written? Multiple audio files with control. You can see over here also. Multiple audio files with control that I have written over here. And here also you can see multiple audio files with control I have written. Heading tag was open over here H1 close. Now in H2 tag what I have written over here the text H2 is slightly smaller than H1. So what it has been written the text between the audio text will only be displayed in the browser that do not support the audio element H2 close. So it will be slightly smaller than H1. Here you can see I have written over here the text between the audio text will only be displayed in browser I do not support the audio element. Now list of the sound file format that I have to use. Here I have written over here in H3. H3 will be slightly smaller than H2. List of sound file formats. H3 tag was open. H3 closed. Now OL stands for what order list. Now when I write in order list it will come okay in the list of items now list of items by default okay if I use it will come in the number one two three four now OL stands for order list now inside order list it is compulsory to put list of items li text stands for list of items now what I have written in list of items mp3 OGG and WAV by default if I write in list of items li tag it will come okay in the number one two three if I increase okay here one more okay so it will come okay in number four now it is three list of items I had put over here mp3 OGG and WAV so it has come okay in number one two three if I increase again one more so it will come in number four you can try it okay by your own this was order list open in order list everything comes in list and to write in list you have to use li tag that is list of item tag ol tag open over here ol tag close and li tag close get close okay simultaneously only here it is open and here it is closed once you complete okay one list you have to close it immediately now audio controls autoplay now source src now i'm here using okay three audio file format mp3 ogg and wav make sure this three audio file format that is mp3 ogg and wav has to be there in your folder now in my, in my case all the three file format is there this is mp3 you can see over here this is my mp3 file format this is my another file format that is OGG here it is written over here I'll just highlight it this is my OGG file format and here this is the WAV file format wave here it is so all three audio file format is there in my browser so you have to write okay all the three file format mp3 mp3 ogg and wav so make sure it has to be there and then if it is supported it will run it if it not support it will throw an error 
so this is the code okay you can okay pause it and you can copy it audio tag was open audio tag close body tag open body tag close html tag open html close here it is the code okay so you can pause the video and you can copy the source code i'll just keep it here yo i'm just scrolling down yeah you can pause and you can copy this was the first part and this is the second part this is the uh, audio.html and earlier was audio1.html this is audio.html and behind it is audio1.html so you can copy this i hope you have understood this experiment sop5 in that we had learn okay how to put mp3 file and how and, and understand some of the concept and features of mp3 also ogg also and wav also it was very simple experiment okay you need to practice and make sure when you practice you create a folder and over there you save all your file and in your uh, folder there has to be an audio also then only it will work systematically